Just keep going. tearing. Um, keep doing whatever you're I'm doing. curious. Yes? You're supposed to be on those plates. Yeah. The computer didn't want it to be. See, I know. Do you want us to restart it? Uh, if you want it right. This is Grad's Talk and Shop. My name is G. Bundy, and I'm a teacher. That's me, and that's the future bus. We talk to former Beaverton students, and we learn about their career paths. Since they've left high school, they've been on their own journey, and they're all a little different. We listen to their stories so we can learn from their experiences. Today, we are heading out to Broadway Toyota in Portland to meet with Beaverton alumni, Kristen Kepner. So Kristen, thank you for having us out. Tell us a little bit about where we are and what you do. We're at Toyota of Portland. I'm a technician here, so I work on cars. I just saw you working on a car on the rack over here. It looked like an electrical issue, but you do anything that a car would require. Engine, brakes, chassis, electrical, steering, suspension, yeah. the whole works. Do you like it? Yes. When did you figure out that you liked it? I started in Ms. Droh's auto class, lifted the hood of the first car, and game over, I just, I don't know, magic fell in love. Wow. Was interested, was intrigued, wanted to know more. Liked working with my hands. In the first couple of weeks in that program, I didn't know that I would become a technician and work on cars as my career. I just thought it would be fun. I knew at that point I was not interested in a four-year university. Wasn't really interested in going to community college just to pay money, just to do classes I wasn't interested in anyways. Tell me about Ms. Dro and her influence in your path. For kids that were more kind of interested in the automotive continuing in that, she definitely had more resources available to her. So things like getting scholarships for going to college from auto groups, yeah. college programs such as the T10, which I went straight into. I had no clue about until Ms. Dro had their representative come and talk to our class about it. So she was really instrumental in connecting you to the mm -hmm. sort of the work world. She gave me all the dots and I just drew the line. Nice. Let's pump the brakes for a second. Kristen took CTE Auto Tech classes at Aloha High School from Ms. Dro. CTE stands for Career Technical Education. But what does that mean? In Kristen's case, it meant she would learn how to diagnose and repair cars and trucks. And more importantly, this is where she learned that she loved to work on cars and trucks and wanted to do it for a career. Let's check it out. So this is the program that Kristen came through? Yes, it is. Do you remember Kristen? She was an awesome student. This was our little classroom that we were all crammed into. Yeah. She sat over here on this side. Yeah. Where do you see this five years down the road? I'm hoping that we can have enough kids in the program that we can get and add another teacher. The demand is there. Yep. As many kids as we can produce, they can have jobs. Yep. And good jobs. Good jobs. Yeah. We're working on the PT Cruiser with a little tow alignment because it's having a little swing problems on the road. Hopefully we should be able to fix it. My name is Marquez Oblad and I'm a senior at Mountainside. Most classes that you take are mostly book work and you learn facts and you don't really have time to apply it. Like math, you can't really apply it in the real world unless you have very specific situations. But with auto tech, you literally have to learn. And then the hardest part is to apply what you learned into your actual job. And being able to balance this is difficult. And most of the time, you actually learn more in the real world with real experiences with your hands than you do in a classroom because the books aren't exactly everything. What is T10? T10 is Toyota's technical training school. Okay. The way the program worked is I spent one semester at school, one semester working in a paid internship, yeah. making money, yeah. and that was enough to support me through the rest of school. Everybody was going and getting their four-year universities, and no one was working in the trades, and so now we have this huge gap, which almost makes it even easier to get in because you're so wanted. Right. And a lot of these people are like, if you have any kind of experience or even the willingness yeah. to learn, we'll take you on and show you how to do things. 
Did you feel pressure when you were in high school to go to a four-year school? I remember we had a class that was specifically for applying to four-year universities and there wasn't much exploration past that option. It was pretty cut and dry. When I worked right over there, right next to the service drive, I'd have people come over to me all the time and say how cool they thought it was that I was even just changing oil. I hardly ever get negative reactions. People who are just set in stone in their way, really they're the only ones I see negative feelings from and it's usually it's because they don't trust someone as young or female as me could work on their car and know what I'm talking about. There's a board over there that has all of our names, how many cars we've worked on and the hours that yeah. we've completed. And it's just, I don't know, it always feels good to me to see that I'm in the top 5% and some of these guys have been working on cars longer than I've been alive. Kristen Kebner took CTE Auto Tech classes at Aloha High School, but she was actually a student at Beaverton. The Auto Tech program is available to students from any of our six comprehensive high schools. To learn more, talk with your counselor or visit our website.